First, the site is excavated and rebar is placed according to local code. Formwork is placed and the footing and stem wall are poured with anchor bolts placed according to local code. Next, a 4 inch layer of gravel is placed to facilitate drainage underneath the slab and to act as a capillary break. It also allows the removal of radon from beneath the slab if radon is present. Lengths of extruded polystyrene are placed on the interior perimeter of the stem wall to act as the isolation material and to provide a thermal break for the slab. Extruded polystyrene insulation is placed on top of the gravel bed, followed by a 6 mil polyethylene vapor retardant. Note that the edges should extend to the exterior edge of the stem wall. Then, the slab is poured. Sill seal is placed at the edge of the slab, followed by the termite shield and another layer of sill seal. Then the stud walls are built. On the outside wall, a bead of sealant is used to seal the bottom of the weather barrier to the termite shield. Furring strips are attached through the exterior insulation back to the wall studs. These provide a ventilation cavity for the exterior siding. The exterior siding is applied to the furring strips. Lastly, the exterior trench is filled with low permeability soil.